Hello everybody, welcome back at the Beta Territory, this time for the March-April Fry update. I hope you will enjoy watching this video. The fry in this tank are about 4 months old. They are the result of a cross between a Cambodian-based red half moon plakat male and a Cambodian-based yellow half moon plakat female. Both are half-siblings. They share the same yellow father. As you can see, all the fry are light-bodied yellows and reds. I'm really happy with the intensity of their color. I have already jarred several males and I will update my spawn log but also will be posting separate videos of these fish. The fry you see here are also about 4 months old. They are F2 fry which are the result of a cross between two siblings which descend from a cross between a candy koi half moon plakat male and a dark body red female from my own line. There are light and dark bodied fish in this spawn, varying from multicolor to orange. Several fish already started to marble and lost all their colors. It will be very interesting to see how their color pattern will develop as they mature. Several fish already have been jarred from this spawn. These fry are the result of an experimental cross I made with two big sized fish I found in my local aquarium store. The male had a body size of about 5.5 cm, whereas the female had a body size of about 4.5 to 5 cm. So far these fry are developing at a similar growth rate as all of my other spawns. It will be interesting to see if any of these fish will turn out bigger than the fish in my regular spawns. Although all fish started as multicolors, several fish already have lost their color and now start to get koi-like patterns. The fry in the following two tanks are about 3 months old. They are the result of a cross between a candy koi half moon plakat male, which I purchased from my local aquarium shop, which was crossed to a female from my own line. The female I used here is the result of a cross between a candy koi half moon plakat male and a dark body red female. She is therefore carrying the candy koi pattern. As you can see many of the fry are actually dark bodied, but several of them already started to marble. It will be very interesting to see how their colors will develop in the coming months. This tank only holds 12 fry of about 2 months old. They are from two different spawns. 8 fry are the result from a cross between a candy koi half moon plakat male, which was outcrossed to a koi half moon plakat female from Luca Dermann from Germany. 4 fry are reds. And these are the result of a cross between a dark body red half moon plakat male and a Cambodian based yellow half moon plakat female. As both spawns were very small, I decided to respawn both pairs. These fry are the result of the second cross I did with a dark body half moon plakat male and a Cambodian based yellow half moon plakat female. The fry are now about 2 weeks old and there are both light and dark bodied fish in this spawn. I expect that all these fish will become red, as the father of this spawn is not carrying any yellow. The last tank I want to show you holds the fry of the second spawn I did with the candy koi half moon plakat male from my own line, which was outcrossed to the koi half moon plakat female from Luca Dermann from Germany. The fry are now about 2 weeks old, and this again was a very small spawn, with only 10 to 15 fry. However, these fry are very valuable for my breeding program, and I'm very curious to see how they will develop. Thank you for watching. In order to stay tuned, please subscribe to my channel.